Okay, so now we have the product catalog for users. However, uh, the selection of the default pictures for the administrator is still missing. So what we're looking for is a feature where the administrator will be able in his detail view to select that a picture is the default picture uh, and then uh, see the default picture displayed. Also, when we delete the pictures, we need to verify that the default picture uh, is removed if the picture deleted is the default picture. We're going to do this programmatically in the delete picture method. So we have the picture which we find. We need to verify that if we have this picture, we get the product, which is related to this picture. And we're going to find it based on the product ID, which is going to be in the picture. So we take the picture, which was just extracted from the database, and we get the product ID. So we find this product. And now we need to first, before the picture delete happens, we need to verify that if the product default picture is equal to the picture picture ID. So the one that comes from the parameter is going to be good. In that case, we need to update the picture or the product rather. So the product default picture, we can set it to null and then we can update the product. Okay, so this needs to be done, that's for sure. Now our product update does not include the uh, picture ID itself or the default picture itself. So we need to add that in. Default picture. Default picture. And of course, we need to also set the default picture in the list. So we're going to put a placeholder here. Okay, so this would update appropriately. Now, so we're going to add the controller action method to default a picture and we're not going to do much other than take the picture itself and get the product for which the picture it is and then instead of having an if statement just setting the picture ID for this product and then updating the product and then we forget about that redirect as necessary now since we're doing this in the detail we're gonna go with detail and we're gonna select the same product as before so that is the product ID here Now we need to add to our view the proper hyperlink to invoke default picture. So the detail view, we see the product details. We have the list of pictures here and we also have a delete picture hyperlink. Let's add a hyperlink to the 
set the picture as default. So default picture, picture, picture ID, button. So let's just write set as default. And make this a primary. So let's give this a try. So we have the milk picture here. And if I were to delete this picture and look at the details, the picture is no more. So clearly in the picture delete, we need to redirect to the detailed page. So let's uh, change that right away. So delete picture here. We need to have detail and the same idea as previously take the product ID here, concatenate with this address, not forgetting the slash copy pasting this line would have been a faster way. Okay. Now we have the product detail back to list. If I want to add a picture for the milk, which I already had before, I'll just add this milk picture. So we have this picture here. And if I look at my list, I should not see this as the default. I'll just go to the user index. So there's no default picture for the milk. So if I go to the details and set as default, I can verify by going to the user index that now the milk is the default picture. Good, so I'll just go back, navigate back. I want to also display the default picture here for my product. So I'll take the code from the product catalog and do this. If I look at my users, uh, not the product details, but the product catalog here, there is code which I've used to display the picture here, the image code. I'll just take this image code and bring it to the details just to quickly display the picture. So I have the image. And now I need to make sure that I use the proper data here. And certainly it is necessary for me to populate this file name because currently, if I were to look at my view, I should just see nothing. Yes, and also there's a matter of having everything malformed. So we need to have the PHP output as follows. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so we get to see this blank. Okay, so there we go. There's no default picture. So if I set the picture as default here, I should see a default picture. But I don't because file name was not set. How do we change this? We need to change the product controller detail method so that we integrate the picture, which is the default picture, as the file name. So this does not need to go through the pictures here, but rather it should go through the find method. So let's change the find method as part of the product to have a join statement instead of just using a normal uh, select star from product. So we need to select everything from the product table and the file name from the product well, basically, 
as above left join picture on product default picture is equal to picture picture ID where product ID is equal to product ID but be careful there are two product ID fields so product dot product ID and let's save that going to the product controller we have the product where we find the product with that product ID the product has a file name that comes from the picture table and we verify as part of our detail that we have to verify that data file name is set and then we will see that picture if it is set good so now we know which picture is the default picture i can delete the picture i can go back to the list i can add a picture choose the picture of the milk add the picture view the details set it as default view that it is the default picture and verify all of that in the users catalog as well good so we've accomplished what we set out to accomplish which is to add default pictures for the user catalog to view. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day.